Hey guys, it's Sel. Today I decided to do a full face of drugstore makeup because um, I know that right now in college we're all kind of balling on a budget and sometimes we can't always afford a $60 foundation and there are so many amazing drugstore alternatives and I really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, and I think there's like this big misconception in makeup that you have to splurge on everything, which you definitely don't. There are some bomb things at the drugstore. So I wanted to show you guys some of my absolutely all-time drugstore favorites. And then I, I wanted to try out a few new things. So if you want to see how I did this full face using only drugstore makeup, then go ahead and keep watching. Then go ahead. What if I did this? Go ahead and keep on watching. No, okay, I'm just joking. But yeah, go ahead and keep watching. Let's get into it because... I don't know how to end an intro. Let's just start watching the video, okay? All right, so I started with my brows already on and today they're deciding to be um, sisters, not twins. So we're gonna ignore that. For brows, I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette. This, besides obviously Benefit brow product, is my go-to and it's super cheap at the drugstore. So if you're on a budget, pick this up for brows for sure. Just carved them out with um, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyes today. Um, I always, always, always start with my eyes just to avoid any fallout on my foundation and that's a mess. I always start with my eyes. And I'm just prepping my eyes again with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And this is the shade Light Pale. This is an awesome concealer. And it's pretty full coverage, which I really appreciate using it as an eye primer because it gets all the veins nice and covered. Nice blank canvas. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the Cody Airspun loose face powder and this is uh, naturally neutral. I haven't used this powder in seriously, I think like three years. So I'm kind of nervous. Um, just when I stopped using it, I absolutely hated it. But when I started using it, I loved it. And I, so I don't know what kind of triggered me to hate it, but I guess we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't do me dirty because it's super cheap and it smells delicious. So if I could use this instead of like Laura Mercier, that'd be awesome, but whatever. All right, for eyes today, I'm gonna be using the Rimmel London um, Magnifying Crimson, wait, what is this? Magnifies, <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. I've never seen these before, but um, they look pretty. So hopefully this goes well. Drugstore eyeshadows kind of make me nervous because I feel like eyeshadows, you get what you pay for most of the time. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Are there shade names? No shade names, awesome. <laughs> Love that for me. So I'm gonna start with, let's see. What am I gonna do? These are so pretty. I'm just gonna start with this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> this as my transition. Ugh, I'm excited, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do. <sighs> and you can literally not see that at all. I'm gonna go ahead and give this the benefit of the doubt. The benefit of doubt. The benefit of the doubt. Whatever that saying is, I'm gonna give it to it. That's as transition as it's getting. You know what, it's not too bad. Maybe I'm just being dramatic. Like that's definitely an option. It's not that bad. All right, now I'm gonna go in with, Ugh, I don't know. I never do like this. I usually always do this, so. That was disgusting, I'm so sorry. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this because, oh no, God. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this color right here. Um, kind of deepen it up and then I think I'm gonna do this uh, burgundy after we'll see just the only thing 
these shadows don't really have like a gradient if that makes sense there's not like another color that's super light which i prefer to use all right so i'm gonna put that pretty much in the same place with the transition just keeping it just a tad bit lower and i'm using the exact same brush so i guess i couldn't have expected too much from these eyeshadows considering i think they were like 12 dollars or something i'm not sure i'll have the price in the description but um I don't know, they're just not giving me anything. They're so, they're like really dull. So I'm gonna pick up this brush, just nice, soft, fluffy, nothing out of this world. And I'm gonna go back with the transition right on the top to kind of make sure that it's nice and blended out. Am I happy? No. Am I mad? No. All right, I'm gonna go ahead um, with like this nice chocolate brown <laughs> and kind of deepen everything up a little bit, give myself some dimension. And I'm gonna use a Japanese brush for this. This brush is just, the hairs are kind of thinner, so it'll help me focus it a bit better. kind of right on the outer corner and I'm not blowing it out nearly as much. I'm just gonna keep it focused right in here. That shade is really good. <laughs> I like that shade a lot, so maybe this is turning around. That'd be really convenient. All right. Next I'm gonna go ahead with a lid color and I'm gonna do that with a flat concealer brush. These um, flat concealer brushes, I prefer the best for glitters and shimmers and stuff except for my finger fingers are bomb for those but my fingers kind of just doesn't do me any favors so i'm gonna wet the brush with um oops i just sprayed my entire mirror <laughs> the l'oreal infallible pro sprayer setting spray to kind of give it a little damp and really bring out the true color and i'm gonna go ahead and use this maroon burgundy shimmer thing situation that they have going on all right let's see that's pretty oh yeah i like that a lot babe can you do me a favor yeah i have makeup wipes um in the bathroom okay. can you grab them thanks that's my sweet sweet honey Always grab me stuff. Thanks, honey. Well, these are workout wipes, but workout wipes. Yeah, the other ones are blue. What? Oh. All right. So eyes are on. Um, I was definitely being dramatic at first. What's new? This honestly isn't bad. I was just kind of throwing a fit. But if you're balling on a budget, I hated that. But if you're balling on a budget and you don't want to spend, you know, $60 on the eyeshadow palette, this is definitely worth picking up. Foundation today, I'm going to be using an all-time favorite foundation. Like This foundation never, ever, ever lets me down. It is in my top three favorite foundations. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This lays so beautifully on the skin and I feel like it works for every skin type. I use this on pretty much everyone I do makeup on and I've never had a problem with that. Yeah, that looks, that looks, that looks pretty good. Only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it doesn't have a pump. So I end up wasting a lot pouring it onto the back of my hand. Let's get going. Oops. See, like, I'm never gonna use that much foundation in my entire life. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this with the Real Techniques um, sponge. This foundation is just so gorgeous. Oh my God, I love this. And it's, I think it's 10 or $12. So it's so, so, so affordable. And the fact that it works so well on so many different skin types. And I think they have like 40 shades which for a drugstore is just so many. 
The good thing about this foundation is you can build it up to medium. It's definitely medium to full coverage for sure. Like it's, it does stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down my neck so that no one can call me out. Moving on, now that I have a nice even layer and I don't look horrific, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal under my eye with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I don't know if I said this earlier, but the only thing I don't like about this concealer is this little sponge thing. I know some people love this and I just don't understand it. It doesn't work well for me. But besides that, it is such a nice concealer. I have to work in sections with this concealer because sometimes if I let it sit on my skin for too long, it'll play me, it'll try me, and I don't appreciate that. But if I blend it out right away, it's so beautiful. This formula is just so creamy, so hydrating. It doesn't like get creasy under my eye. I mean, my eyes always get a little creasy because bad skin. I put some in the center of my face just to bring brightness into the center of my face. I love doing this, not only on myself, but everyone. Like I cannot skip this. I didn't even prime my face. I don't know how that just happened, but I'm embarrassed and I hate myself. So um, besides the fact that I didn't prime, which I literally never ever do, I don't even know how I'm gonna I feel so like naked right now. Oh, what? If you can hear him peeing, I'm gonna kill him later. So I really hope that you cannot hear him peeing right now. But what I usually use when I do drugstore primers is I'll usually use the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base um, for my pores, or if I'm like super oily for some reason, which doesn't really happen to me. I love this. It is so smoothing. I also use the NYX Honey Dewy, NYX Honey Do Me Up. This primer is pretty good. It's really nice and hydrating. Um, it's not fabulous, but it is really nice and hydrating. So I definitely appreciate that. But I'm gonna go ahead and set under my eyes with the Cody Airspun Powder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the places that I concealed with the same powder and just the sides of my nose because my makeup breaks up the most right here around my nose. All right, that's actually really nice. That has my skin looking gorgeous, okay? I seriously think I like this better than the Laura Mercier because Laura's just a little bit drying, for sure. Like, I have to use her on my oil. I have to be careful when I use her. Um, but this really didn't like dry me very much, so I appreciate that. For the rest of my face, I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Setting Powder. This is in the shade 220 Natural Beige, which is not what I use for my face, but I mean, it works just fine. I really love this powder because it's so smoothing and it adds just another like tiny bit of touch of coverage. I love this powder. I don't use any other pressed powders. Anyways. Okay, okay, this is coming together. For contour, when I'm doing drugstore contour, I always use the Wet n Wild contour. It is so, 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 so nice, but um, I can't find it. I think it actually broke because I haven't seen it in a long time. So I think I threw it away. For bronzer, um, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is so gorgeous. Like, it is so creamy, so buttery. It doesn't get patchy at all, ever. It blends so nicely into your skin. And I use the shade Sunkissed Bronzer. It smells so good. It smells like a beach. A beach. A beach. A beach. Hi, my name is Selena, and I have a speech impediment. And what I always do with bronzer, literally probably nine times out of 10 that I do my makeup is I always clean the bottom up with um, some translucent powder. What I'll do is I'll just start from probably about right here and just take it down, kind of curve it where my cheekbone naturally curves. It kind of gives me more of a contour. All right, so I went ahead and took a little snack break because um, I was getting hangry and I had to let my camera charge. All I did was I um, 
finished up highlighting my face with the Milani highlighter. It's really pretty. It's a little glittery, so if you're into glitterier highlighters, you're gonna like it. If I also went ahead and put on my lashes, and I'm wearing the Eyelure lashes. I've never tried Eyelure, but I love these. So if you've never used lashes before, I really, really recommend these because not only do they come with instructions, a beautiful pair of eyelashes, they also come with glue. I mean. What more could you ask for? I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with um, the Maybelline Color Sensation Sh Shaping Lip Liner. And this is in the shade 132 Almond Rose. Ooh, my tater tots. And on top of that, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipstick in the shade 755 Spice Spiced Cider. All right, and of course, I'm gonna set it all in place with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. I always bounce my setting spray into my face afterwards to make sure that all the products kind of melt together. I don't want like a powdery mess. All right, guys. No. <laughs> all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had so much fun playing with drugstore makeup again because I haven't done a full face of drugstore makeup in the longest time. Thanks for watching. It means so, 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 so much. Go ahead and... Um, I guess like subscribe if you want, not really. If not, it's fine, it's not that big of a deal. Ew, that was so gross. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right, there. <laughs>